In this video, we're uh, going to consider another type of power that students uh, often have trouble simplifying, and that's uh, a power where the base is raised um, to a rational number or a fraction. Um, <clears throat> and probably the reason students have um, uh, trouble uh, simplifying powers like this is because the rules for uh, simplifying uh, rational number exponents or fractional exponents are not intuitive and uh, therefore they're easy to forget uh, if they're not practiced frequently. Um, so what this first rule shows us and the first rule we're going to apply here uh, in our examples is um, that if you raise a base to a fractional power where the fraction is of the form 1 over n, so the numerator of the fraction is 1 uh, and the denominator here is a positive whole number, a natural number, uh, then um, that's just the same as, that's just another way of expressing the nth root of um, the number a, the base a. So um, let's apply that in a few examples below here. So I'm going to scroll up a bit. We're going to start with example f. And suppose we want to simplify 16 uh, to the 1 half power. So according to our rule, our first rule here for simplifying uh, fractional exponents, uh, 16 to the 1 half power is just another way of writing the square root of uh, 16. Uh, of course now uh, when you're writing square roots you usually don't have to include that index uh, value um, uh, it, with the radical sign so we can also write the square root of 16 just um, like this and of course the square root of 16 is 4 because 4 squared is um, 16. So um, simplifying 1 half powers is uh, easy if you just remember that uh, the one-half exponent just uh, is another way of expressing a square root. Uh, suppose we want to look at this next example where we're going to simplify uh, 27 to the one-third power. So again, applying our first rule here for fractional exponents, for simplifying fractional exponents, 27 to the one-third power, that's just another way of expressing the cube root of uh, 27. And uh, 3 cubed is 27. So we can extract the cube root of 27, and that just gives us uh, 3. So I want to caution you here. In both of these uh, first two examples, right, uh, raising 16 to the 1 half power, that's not the same as multiplying 16 times 1 half, right? Or raising 27 to the 1 third power, that's not the same as multiplying 27 uh, times 1 third. Uh, finally, one more example like this. Uh, suppose we want to raise 32 to the 1 fifth power. So again, uh, all we have to do is rewrite that as a root. So 32 to the 1 fifth power, that's just another way of expressing the fifth root of uh, 32. And again, we can simplify the fifth root of 32. 32 is a perfect fifth power uh, because 2 to the fifth power is 32. So we can simplify this to uh, 2. OK, now let's look at a couple of examples where uh, we're raising uh, bases uh, uh, to powers uh, where the exponent is uh, uh, still a fraction, but a slightly more complicated fraction. So suppose we have a fraction of the form m over n where uh, the uh, numerator does not have to necessarily just be 1. So the rule for simplifying powers like this is very similar um, to the rule for simplifying powers uh, where um, uh, the fraction is of the form 1 over n. Uh, this still refers to a, uh, a type of radical, a type of root. Okay, uh, So that uh, denominator of the fraction uh, uh, gives you the index of the root, the index of the radical. But the numerator of the fraction is going to stay as um, an exponent uh, on the base. <clears throat> so a to the m over n power is going to be the nth root of a uh, to the n power. Now, if this... Um, a uh, fraction is in lowest terms if this fraction is fully reduced. Uh, you can um, also simplify this expression in another way uh, by pulling the uh, exponent m out from underneath the radical. So you can also write this as the nth root of a, and then you can raise that root to the uh, m power. And frequently now that's an easier way of simplifying uh, these um, uh, powers uh, where the uh, uh, exponent is a fraction. So let's take a look uh, at a couple of examples where we're going to apply this rule for simplifying exponents. 
So suppose we want to uh, raise 16 to the 3 halves power. So I'm looking at example i here. Okay. So according to that um, uh, a rule, uh, what this another way of uh, expressing 16 to the 3 halves power is the square root of 16 uh, cubed. So see the 2, we're going to keep that as index for a radical, and the 3 is going to stay as an exponent uh, on the base. Now, of course, uh, this is square root, so you really don't have to uh, write that index along with the radical. And since 3 halves is in lowest terms, that fraction is fully reduced. You can also simplify this expression by uh, pulling the 3 out um, from underneath uh, the radical as an exponent. So you can write this as the square root of 16 and then that quantity cubed. And that's probably a little bit easier to simplify. It's easier to calculate the square root of 16 uh, than it is to calculate the square root of that large quantity 16 cubed. The square root of 16 of course is 4 because 4 squared is 16. So we can simplify this as 4 cubed. And then 4 cubed is easy enough to calculate. That's going to be uh, just 64. So 16 to, to the 3 halves power, that's just another way of writing the number uh, 64. Uh, suppose we want to simplify in this next example 27 to the 2 thirds power. So again applying that, um, uh, that rule for simplifying fractional uh, exponents, um, that 3 is going to indicate an index of a radical, and so that's cube root, and the 2 is going to stay as an exponent. So 27 to the 2 thirds power is the same as the cube root of 27 squared. Now we could of course square 27 and then try to calculate its uh, square root, but since this um, uh, fractional exponent is in lowest terms, we can also simplify uh, 27 to the 2 thirds power by pulling that 2 out from underneath uh, the radical. So we can write this as the cube root of 27 and then apply the exponent 2. And it's easier to simplify, or it's easy to simplify the cube root of 27. That's going to be 3. So um, we can write this as 3 squared. And then of course 3 squared is 9.